Welcome back to FTP Infinity Expert Mode. I'm Caesar Pfeiffer. Today we're on our own, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to be working on producing automized power for Britannia. It's man system basically. But first, a few things that have happened around the base. One, the bees have kind of got out of hand a little, as you can probably see. They're sprawling and need all tidying up. I'll get to that once I actually set up an A network, which is a bit off. But anywho, so let's look at how far we've made. So if we type in infinity V, um, the progress that we have made, first of all I have an energetic V over here, as you can see, they're the energetic ones just breeding in here producing me these energetic cones. Next of all we need the silicon bee. Now we haven't quite got that but we have got the ferrous bee which produces iron nuggets which is not really worth it and on the other branch down silicon is sky stone which we haven't actually made much progress into we are currently working on the eldritch bee which is made like so <coughs> sorry about that of course i just had a terrible cough so yeah i'm working on the eldritch here so let's take a quick look we've got an eldritch drone which is always nice so eldritch and mystical 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 uh, not good mystical eldritch uh, mystical combines with, I forgot, um, it's cultivated, so since we have, well that's just pure mystical isn't it, I'll keep you there, but out of here I'll kidnap a common bee and see if we can breed these together, it's not going well, this one, this eldritch bee is being very elusive and really doesn't want to be bred, which is kind of annoying, we can go in there for now, but anywho, so yes, we are going to be working on Britannia, but first, with the Iridium and Sonarium that we made, not last, wait, was it last episode? I can't remember, was it last episode? Yeah, it was last episode, wasn't it? I've got my episodes mixed up, but anywho, um, I've made a hybrid solar panel producing 64 EU tip in the day and 8 EU at night and that is just powering the mass fabricator producing me UU matter which is pretty nice. Need more of it for more iridium so we can produce more solar panels, wonderful. Also up here I made the lower tier variant, the 8 EU per tick during the day and 1 EU a tick per night. Advanced solars, three of them to be precise and well I don't really need the power to be honest but I'm not going to say no to it. It's always good to have extra power. So yeah, progress has been made and it's very, very good. So let's take a look at what f generating flora that we can use. Now, one of them was the begonia, which sounds like a good idea. However, I'm not quite sure which bees I actually want to get rid of yet is the main problem. This thing is pretty cheap. Ooh. That's changed slightly. I wasn't looking for that recipe at all. I was looking at... Yep, that's broken slightly it appears. Oh there, you have to flick through. But yeah, this one I understand. Um, let's see, we could go with that. Um, we could go with the munch dew, which is an interesting one. It uses leaves. So we could create a tree farm that eats the leaves as well, which is an interesting concept. So it eats part of the leaves, probably about half the tree, maybe. Um, another generating flora that I'm thinking about would be the, um, where is it, the Gamorialis like I did last time, although since I've already done it I don't think it's really a good idea, so I think we'll go with the Munch Juice. Now, it would be much easier if we had an AE network actually, hmm, this would all be much easier if I could use an AE network and just like automize this stuff so easy and bees stop electrocuting me. I need to think about this, how I'm gonna make this nice and easy. Hmm. So what I'm thinking is that we go with the with the uh, munch shoes and we move the Batania thing down to this little plateau here. So I need to shuttle the mana that we already have in this pool down there and then we can put it to use. Oh, good question actually. I think I'll use computer craft to automate it, so what is it to make a computer? That would probably make life much easier, let's have a look. Uh, oh, we need presses, okay. Um, I have the, ins I already actually got all the 
press things here. Which could be, what's the inscriber? I was just thinking about that. Inscriber. Oh, ooh, yeah. Okay, it's it's not cheap, but oh, you require a pure crystal. Okay then, right, so first of all, I'm going to make some pure crystals. Uh, right, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back in a second once I get the pure crystals and start working on the machine frame and that. And then we'll shuttle all the things down here. So, back in a bit. Yeah, I'd just like to point out, I just came down to the mob grinder's storage facility and I just realised that we are completely overstacked on most of the items, which is pretty nice. Look at all the potatoes and carrots. Ah, uh, brains. Ooh, sticks. You can come with me for now. Uh, skulls. Oh, that's a nice one. So iron. Oh, that's good. But done these, which is odd. Very odd. Uh, everything's just getting pinned currently. But anyway, uh, actually. No, it doesn't matter. So, first of all, to make what we need, we need to create surface quartz dust like so. Uh, actually, it would be easier to do that. Uh, like so, and we need to combine these two together to double our surface squat so we get this. And then what we need to do is throw it in water. Now this would be faster if we had a crystal growth accelerator, but unfortunately I don't, so I'm just going to stick him in, in there and leave him in there for a while. Now behind it I've just put a transfer node with a world interaction. Let's do this properly with a world interaction upgrade and I've got an item filter here currently filtering stone because all I want to do is it to take the final tier of seeds um, is that the pure that's it oh. pure form of seeds so that's pure certus, pure fluix and pure never so I'll just stick inside the filter those three items in the future but for now we can't do that so because i haven't actually got them so i'm just going to leave them to run they take a few hours uh, you'll notice on them they have a percentage that percentage isn't complete okay so in you go so i'll be back once they are done and i've made the other items right so next of all we need in this is overclocker update upgrade so look at these we need 10k coolant cells so looking at coolant cells we need to get this thing called coolant. Now, how do we get this? Well, I've forgotten I need to go on the wiki again. Oh, great. Right, so the next step is to make ourselves a solar distiller. So we want to put this in here like so, followed by this, and this will create us a solar distiller. Now, this is to create distilled water. So I'm going to try putting it back next to the Everfull Urn. Okay, it's not filling it. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, if we put you on top of there, will you not fill it? Really? Will you not actually fill the thing? That's annoying. I thought that would have filled up the silver distiller. Oh well. Uh, let's just put you back. It was worth a shot, I guess. Um, so we need to fill this up with buckets of water. Now we need a bucket of distilled water. Now I'm gonna fill this up as much as possible. I can't remember how many buckets this thing takes. I'm gonna have a guess at maybe 10, possibly. So this thing, during the time in the sun, it distills water, which basically is water that contains no impurities, which is pretty, Nice. Uh, right, you won't take that. Uh, I'll just leave that bucket in there. So I'm going to wait for this distiller to fill up with water. But before that, if we take a quick back look at the uh, in scriber, what else do we need? We also need um, in a few of these. Now, to make coolant, we need some lapis. Now, we're going to use free lapis. I'm going to stick this in the macerator and we're going to come over to here and we're going to put this as um oh, is it i think it's that one i'll have to check right so you want to put the multi-purpose canning machine in fluid enriched mode to do that but we're currently waiting on 
hopefully would be made. Um, so that's how much I've got so far. I went to install the fluid ejector from the Union Matter production. Don't worry, that thing's so slow it won't matter. I can just quickly kidnap it and throw it back in. And conveniently, they're both going to the south, which is wonderful. So yeah, this is a bit slow and only works during the day, so I have to remember to keep sleeping. But yes. So while we're waiting on them to work, uh, you can go up there. Let's have a look at creating the munch dew, I'm thinking. So what is it? It's a rune of gluttony and some petals. Okay, so what's the rune of gluttony recipe? A dem... Nick Slate. Oh, a rune of fire and rune of winter. Okay, so let's have a look what runes we have over here. We have a rune of fire. Okay, that's good. Um, how many runes of gluttony is this? This is just two runes of gluttony. I think I'll make four munch dews. Yeah, let's be greedy. Let's make four more juice. So the rune of winter. Oh my god. That requires the abuse slate. Uh, oh, rune of... Wait, no, that's the rune of autumn. I wanted the rune of winter. Yes. Or it's the rune of autumn, winter and summer all in one. Ah, there's the rune of winter. Okay, earth. Okay, so let's just say this. It's not going to be cheap. Right. Uh, let's see. What was it? It's water and earth. Okay, well that's good. I've got the earth ones. I just need water. Right, time to start making stuff, I guess. Right, so progress is being made. We almost have the stuff to make the munch juice. Also, it turns out that some of these rooms are getting refunded every time. Now, I don't know whether that's a bug or it's intended. If it's intended, that is a very, very cheapening and doesn't seem like expert mode at all, unless the model has actually deliberately changed it herself so we'll put you in there and we also need some seeds hello uh, no seeds let's go quickly kidnap some seeds down here I thought this could making a computer and all this would be nice and easy no it was ridiculously expensive uh, I'll just take those extra seeds with me I'll need them in the future to make oh wait no I need four uh, I was thinking I meant to take two then oh well uh, so you 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 and you. I didn't get enough of them. Uh, so we need another two lime for red and was some green. That should be enough. Just mapping out this stuff. Uh, let's see. So one, two, two, and two. No. Put this back. I only need one. One of you, two of you, two of you, one of you, and one of you. And finally, once this is actually done, well, just have, you can't right click it, okay? Uh, and you, we have the munch juice, which is wonderful. And progress on the distilled water is half a tank. And we need three buckets worth. I mean, half a bucket, and we need three. And down to making the resin machine frame. We're not even halfway there. So. Time to AFK. Oh, right, now this production of the purified crystals is taking, well, way too long. We're only at 30% and it's been a very long time. So we're gonna make a crystal growth accelerator. This can be made by tossing never quartz, charged certus, and redstone into a pool. Thank you. And we get unnatural, uh, you can go back in. And then we can use these to make some things. So, first of all, we need some ME cable, which is made from this, which needs more of that dust stuff. Yay, more of it. Right, let's go in there. Actually, do we actually need... Oh, we need more of that fluid stuff. Okay, uh, let's make another one. Yeah, one of you and one of you. And we'll put you, you and you in there. Oh. Oh, no, miss. Just try to put you back in there. Okay, so we've got the dust stuff now, hopefully. Nearly. Right, so let's make the basic wiring thing first. Uh, no, wrong thing. Who wants the wiring? So we need a bunch of glass. Okay. That'll do nicely, and you're done. Wonderful. So, uh, you... 
then you, then you and you and Ian. Four of them. And this should, in theory, be able to produce. Actually, no, this crystal growth accelerator won't work because we need power. Oh. Will these actually accept power directly? That's a question. They may or they may not. And I may need a the energy acceptor, which requires the crystal stuff to work. So this may have been wasteful. Um, where did I put that energy cell? There was like an energy cell stored here, and I cannot remember where I put it. So the energy cell doesn't work. We actually need the power intermediate thing. Let's just a quicker look at AE again. Uh, mods. Applied logistics. We need that thing, which is ridiculously expensive to make. So yeah, unless um, oh no, vibration chamber doesn't exist, so we can't even do that. Right, so we're going to do a bit of quick experimenting to find out how far these um, munch juice work, and this is going to be made extra easy by the Manasseur's monocle, and that goes there. Wonderful. So let's stick down one of these guys, uh, somewhere away from trees so it doesn't actually consume any yet. But if we look at this, it shows the range that it works. This also works upwards quite a bit as well. So that is actually quite a far range. What is it? I can't tell. See, can we actually look at the flower from a distance? No. Let's see. That's difficult to tell how far it goes. Let's try down here, it's a bit flatter. Let's try and get it to... I think that's covering the torch. We... That's one further, that's one. That's too short, yeah. That's covering the torch. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have an eight range. Hmm. You know, how many flower... We're going to do a three by three of oak trees, I think, is best. And we'll just have a barrel for dumping the leaves and saplings. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So, I've made a bit of progress. I've got all the items that I need. I just need to stick a planter down here. Uh, set you to output on top and bottom. Then stick power conduits here and here. You are full, you are that. Um, I'll probably want to actually get some cobblestone, or stone will do. Oh, actually, I already have some cobblestone on me. Ooh. And we're gonna stick, uh, just like so. And I've got a few ideas. So, first of all, I need to run from here to here, I want to run this. Now, let's explain how this is going to work. So, put you there. So, I is going to be output out of here. I've got a redstone energy cell for now. I'll change that in the future. To be connected, we're going to have these pipes run around here. And what these pipes are going to do, I'm going to refill this with saplings, as you can see. Saplings are going to go back. It's just everything's going to get filtered around here. Uh, you are going to have that. We have an overflow for once we're full, so the munch juice can actually keep working. So let's just quickly sleep. So after sleeping, I had a bit of testing, and I found out a wonderful setup. So if I get my watering can, which is in my inventory, and start watering in the center, we should get some sapling growth. Now, what is slightly annoying is we are getting saplings to fall on the floor, so what I'll have to do is I might actually stick a chest here and then put a puller out of here, and then on the side here, stick a, um, or on top, stick a transfer node with some world interaction upgrades to pick any saplings that fall on the floor, which would be pretty nice, I think. Yeah, so these catch everything and are filling up with mana. I think you're partially full, you're starting to fill up this pool, you're starting to fill up this pool. Which is good, so now we are producing automated mana, which is wonderful. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Answer if possible. New channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Stay well and survive well. In my life, to get it right.